Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. We know you want us to transition to renewables ASAP so you can get on with your favourite activity, continuing human life on this planet. Well, good news. There's only one barrier left between you and a clean energy future. It's not technological. It's not economic. Nope, it's us. That's right. After ditching the carbon price, dumping this, refusing this and trying to kill these, we're proud to bring you NEG, the negligible energy guarantee. Because it's such a watered-down piss-weak policy that it's literally worse than doing nothing at all. Which is precisely why our BFFs love it so much. And keeping them and this bunch of nutjobs happy is pretty much our official energy policy. I mean, why should we encourage renewables? We should let the market decide how we get our energy. And nothing says free market like propping up a dying industry with your tax dollars. Or trying to force this ancient relic to stay open when even its owners are saying coal is dead. Sadly, not everyone shares our dream of delaying the transition to clean energy. Like those smug eco-hipsters in South Australia who went and reached their 50% renewable target a decade early and are on track to hit this one by 2025. Just because they invested in shit like the world's biggest lithium-ion battery. Built by combining two resources no longer found in Canberra. Leadership and brains. It's only been running for a few months and is already making us look like dickheads. Whatever. There's one renewable resource we do believe in investing in. Bullshit. Bullshit is what fuels our daily fear-mongering about blackouts and higher prices. When in fact renewables are responding to peak demand and reducing electricity bills. Which is why instead of waiting for us, Aussies are taking matters into their own hands to get this shit done. And it's why the market invested $9 billion in 2017 alone into solar farms, solar trains, solar whatever that is. Heck, even these pricks are investing in solar. And why not? With the prospect of new jobs, cheaper bills and avoiding epic climate change fail, what kind of energy Neanderthal would want to stand in the way of the renewables boom that's coming? Well, us, Australian Government. We've stopped the boats, now it's time to stop the sun. Authorised by the Department for Transitioning to the Dark Ages.